What is the creature in the movie The Thing? It appeared in many forms, normally mutated when it comes in contact with a living being. The Thing would have deformed body parts, tentacles, rearranged limbs, and a large mouth on its body sometimes. Now the director John Carpenter went on to say that this creature's motive was purely assimilation, to take on characteristics of the host while mutating them into a grotesque, horrifying monstrosity. It would mimic the host in a way of ensuring its survival. Some could see this as a form of intelligence, while others would assume this is part of the thing's natural instincts. Now it showed no restrictions in choosing a host, as it was later seen to even target dogs, and they too would become part of the thing. When it comes to its origins, this information was brought up in the prequel movie. A scientific team located a crashed spaceship buried in the ice of Antarctica. Then the frozen corpse of a creature is found. They assume it survived the crash around 100,000 years ago. Now the pilot of the ship found the thing during a zoological expedition. It was then contained for examination later on, but it would escape and attack the pilot. This would then lead to the crash and the pilot would become part of the thing. And as it left the ship, it would become frozen from the cold temperature. And during some unfinished scenes in the prequel, some theories lean towards the idea of the thing being a biological weapon created by the aliens of the spacecraft. But its first form is hard to distinguish because it could have assimilated many life forms before it crashed on Earth. And as it infects other living organisms, it will not be able to replicate non-organic materials like metal. This was seen in the prequel to the original movie where the character Kate finds tooth fillings that belong to another person. The methods of killing the creature were very similar to any other life form, like using extreme heat from a flamethrower, explosives, or molecular acid. These methods would affect the thing at a cellular level. There's also a possibility that electric shock might be effective. It was shown to be very tolerant to cold temperatures, as it would survive after being frozen. Now in the comics, it was mentioned that its own cells were in a state of dying, so it required living cells to continue surviving, possibly as a food source. And during an autopsy, it was revealed that the thing was merely an organism that could attach to a host and replicate it, which allows it to perfectly assimilate other life forms, even down to copying their memories, characteristics, personality, and other traits. It would even copy any weakness the host might suffer from, as this was seen with Norris's weak heart. Even with a limb or head cut off, the thing is able to survive by further mutating these body parts. During one event of the host's body being burned, the head would detach from its body in an attempt of escaping to survive. This implies that each body part is a separate being, able to think and survive on its own. The thing has incredible physical strength, and it becomes more intelligent as it absorbs more life forms. The large creatures were seen to be more offensive, while the smaller ones were seen to run away to survive. It's also theorized that it has the combined intelligence of every organism it has ever assimilated. This organism would also display a tendency to only attach itself to a living host, as a dead body would be ignored, and in the event of Dr. Copper's death, it seems he bled out before the infection could spread through his body, therefore Copper's body was rendered useless to the Thing. Now the Thing was a very original creature designed for the story of this movie. The special effects were incredible during that time period, and to this day, they are still one of the best effects in film history, when now everything is oversaturated by CG effects. But what do you think about this creature? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, and I'll see you in the next video.